welcome to West Somerset Railway. Today I'll be taking part in some demonstration shunting with the Class 09 locomotive between Minehead and Washford. So let's get her started and we gotta turn on these little lights here first. Since I'm already out here, I might as well click on them. And yes, you do have to click on them. Nine yards long and 5.7 tons, I think it was. Yeah, something like that. Uh, turn that off. Don't uh, control one. Turn that off. There's a little bouncy ball. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Three, two, three, four, and then we turn on the switch on the inside. Yeah, see, I'm, that's not activa activating. Neither of these are. These are all for um, setting up lights for specific uh, shunting duties. But the brakes are on. I think this is one of the, one of the few that you actually see the brakes um, engage and disengage. Um, it's already running. Don't sound like it. Kind of weird, though. David 4113. Lucky number 13. I can't say, I can't tell you how many times that number pops up in my life. Actually, in our lives, including my daughter. Okay, so put this light on here. And um, I'm using Toby head and eye tracking, which is doing pretty good here. Looking up and looking down is not the greatest, but um, yeah, everything seems to be look. Uh, everything's looking okay. Uh, Seventy-two gallons of fuel. That's what it looks like. Um, hey, this gauge is at zero. It didn't look like it was working before. Water's at forty. I'm guessing it's. Celsius, yeah, yeah, 40 Celsius, 100 Fahrenheit, something like that. Oh, no, I didn't want to zoom out. The brake pipe gauge, that definitely works. And this amp um, brake gauge also works. Shows how many pounds are being applied. But I'm surprised to see that this is at zero. I don't know why. This gauge for oil pressure just never, never moves. Um, but it's a nice little shunting locomotive. So, um, let's open a window here and open a window here. Let's get started. Um, it can be done in 45 minutes. I did do it in 45 minutes, but that was with, uh, a lot of, um, a lot of speeding, and that was unnecessary. I just wanted to see what, what, you know, what, what, okay, that's all, folks. Um, I wanted to see what it was, uh, what was the outcome? That's the word I'm looking for. So let's get our um, key in the on position. Don't have to start because it's already running. And um, release the brakes. Now reverse and forward. Whoa. Okay. Um, okay, there we go. Pushed it. I held the button a little bit too long. Forward. 
and toot the horn two times. Mm, okay. Put it into notch one. There we go. Let's check our points. So we don't derail uh, while we're doing our demos, demonstrations. Well, only one point needs to be changed. Okay. Uh, I might have to reset Toby. Let's see. Yeah, I have to reset Toby. Well, not so much reset Toby. Yeah, there we go. Now it's working. It's the uh, software that you need to integrate Toby head and eye tracking into Train Sim World. And I mean Train Sim World because I've already tested it in Train Sim TSW2 and TSW3. And it works pretty well. Um, this is just me turning my head. And I do, you, you don't uh, lose the mouse. Um, it doesn't mitigate, you know, take away the mouse. So, but to get this angle looking this way, I have to basically turn my head like an owl. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, I don't need to do that that often, but... Um, Yeah, so it works pretty good. Um, I'm trying to find a time to put a video together. Mm -mm. I don't know what the speed limit. So I already finished the uh, completed the scenario. I just didn't like the, the outcome. Um, I didn't want to overspeed. You have to be real careful because this is a slow... This is a slow speed route. And... Uh, this is why I wonder... It, just by doing the actual speed limit, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I may have said this, I'm, I'm sure I've said it, uh, in a video somewhere at one point, that um, even if you're doing the speed limit, you could possibly get dinged for um, speeding and lose AP points. Not to mention that um, if you want to get the uh, the highest awarded medal, be it gold or with the old uh, ESW 2 and 3 routes or platinum in TSW 4 routes, um, if you're doing exactly the speed limit, you're not going to you're not going to get the highest AP points and it's uh, I believe it's calculated uh, by distance traveled. I think it's actually per kilometer or in this case per mile. I'm not sure because I haven't been able to find any um, uh, information as to um, how that actually works. Uh, let me bring up the speed just a little bit more. I don't want to bring it up too much because uh, the speed limit drops down to five uh, miles per hour. Um, as you can see up there on the right, the number five just creeped in. But this is a nice little shunting uh, uh, job. I haven't done much, uh, 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 I haven't done a lot in 
untrained sim world period been doing a lot of testing uh, mod conflict uh, troubleshooting um, for my own personal self that is not for any one individual dirt road crossing I mean, it, it is a level crossing but it's a dirt road can't turn around all the way and I like that I really do so let me uh, and I don't even have to hit the left arrow to lean out Toby will help me do it and it works well. So, I mean, I could still use the uh, left, left or right arrow to do the head out. Oh, I missed that one. But then, Toby will give me even more. And that looks like I'm hanging out, the, standing alongside the locomotive. But the reason why I'm d uh, I do that is, you know, make it a little bit more interesting. And I mean, I could look out the window. And everything is vacuum brake here. Um, there is no air brakes. You can't even change it if you wanted to. Yeah, that's a whistle board there, right? Yep, whistle board. And a sign to indicate that you should be at five miles an hour. Actually, below. I always go below the speed limit. But this is one of the main reasons why I do the do the head out thing here is just for that because if you sit here and you're too far away you can't see the whistle board I don't want to lose too much speed but I want to stay below five miles an hour and putting it to Nacho one actually slows this a uh, little Turned it down pretty quickly. It's almost like the brakes get applied. As I was saying, if you're looking at AP points, uh, oh, it's in a parking lot. Uh, at the speed limit, let's use five miles an hour, you get 15 AP points for, let's say, uh, let's say it is one, one kilometer or one mile. You travel one mile, you get 15 AP, AP points. You stay one to two miles below that speed limit. Uh, let's say, again, five miles an hour. And I'm right now at four miles an hour. I'm for every mile or a kilometer driven, if I am correct in that, in that assumption. Nah, don't, don't like to assume, just take a guess. You get 30 AP points. Now I have that turned off in my HUD. I don't need to, I don't need to see all of that all the time. happy with seeing the speed limit as it changes when it changes or as it's coming up to a, a either a reduction or increase and what you see on the top left uh, little HUD there and even that is small because of the way I have my uh, uh, I, a particular setting set up in my engine INI setting. 
but then again, that is, um, yes, it is another whistle board. Increase will come in a minute. I I just cut myself off here, and I'm trying to remember what I was where I was going with my thoughts. Yeah, the uh, the hot element uh, reduction setting in my engine I and I file causes everything to be out of place like the little bouncy balls. Uh, they don't, um, they're not pointing exactly at the, say, the switch I need to turn on or off, okay? It, it's there if I turn it on, but it's really off the mark. And there is no option to, um, to do it any other way uh, now whether whether dovetail games has looked into finding a way to um, adjust the HUD element uh, so the user can select say 10 20 30 40 50 hundred percent however it's calculated I don't know but that would be nice because uh, sometimes I do use the little bouncy balls. Uh, I'll be using it here as well because there is uh, a stop that's coming up uh, that has a waypoint marker. And this shunter being as small as it is, you can very easily go past it and have an a, uh, objective failure uh, pop-up which has happened to me uh, because I thought I was on a mark but I wasn't because I had the little bouncy ball uh, waypoint marker all turned off uh, feels like I'm getting a little bit too close to the window frame um, I'm sure I don't need to but it is a little crossing and uh, on this particular shunter, the speed limit maximum, uh, as uh, as a little placard shows on here, is um, under power or coasting, 27 miles per hour. That's a maximum, but yet it shows 30. But let me see what. How are these gauges looking over here? Yeah, see now this gauge is down to down to 50. And I'm not sure what this is supposed to. It's discharging. Okay. So that's 50 amps. I'm unsure what it what it's meant to represent. Just taking a guess because of the big A. Um I don't think it's volts. What is that over there? Okay. I'm using my mouse for that. Another little dirt road crossing. Oh, so you can go down there. You know what? I'm going to have to go take a look and see what that is down there. Speed limit going down to 15. Well, might as well uh, get it down there now. I don't want to go down that low. So the barber pole is going, and we still got two 
two miles to go. I don't know why that little barber pole started up so early. I'm pretty sure I missed the whistle board. No, there is no whistle board. No. And these are just here for show. You can't get into them. Table mustard. Blue Anchor Station. I'm guessing that's the station, not the town, or maybe it's both. I don't know. And um, fire bucket that needs uh, its sand uh, replenished. Mm. Oh, a bunch of mobile homes. Probably the cheapest uh, housing you can get. Oh, that's a whistle board there, right? Oh no, it's a control box for the junction and point switching. Okay, we can go up to 25 now. Woohoo! More mobile homes. I mean, nice empty field, but uh, shouldn't there be um, livestock like cows or something? No farms around here? like a farming field, uh, I think. Can't tell what that's supposed to be. Looks like flowers, really. Trying not to push the speed too much because I know the speed limit is going to drop again. And we're coming up on one one mile out from our destination where we need to stop. Going up the gradient isn't helping much either. This thing only has, uh, um, it only has four notches. Not sure, one, two, three, four. And a bunch of little ones in between. Yeah, oh, there's four, but again, I don't want to, oh, oh. That's good enough. I don't want to push it too much more. Because I gotta start slowing down. It's a bit deceiving when this little barber pole starts so early. I'm, I don't normally see it start that early. To, uh, indicate that you're coming to your destination, your, your stop, whatever it may be, a passenger service or freight. Yeah, 
somebody's growing veggies and fruits over there. Yeah, there's a countdown. Under a, under the 1,000 yard mark. I think the barber pole should start about, say, one mile out, one kilometer from your destination where you need to stop. Not over two miles away. Ooh, when I hit the right arrow, it automatically turns me to the right. Okay, so let's turn on our marker. There it is. That little blue tower is our waypoint. And it's almost right on top of the, uh, the junction points that need to be uh, changed. Okay, or did we not? Yes, we did. Okay. All right, let's go switch the points. Come on, open the door. And there's another one here, I believe. I think. No, that's set right. Yep, that's set right. Okay, now... Double check with the 2D map. So we go 2D map. Yeah. Uh, yeah, where is that? I just. Because I missed that the last time. I want to see where that is. Okay, that's not this one. So which one is it? Is it this one here? Yeah. So how is that? Okay, so we gotta come down. Yeah, okay. See, there is no, uh, it doesn't give you the little waypoint marker to, uh, to go to. Okay. Home of the West Somerset and Dorset Railway Trust Museum and Workshop. Washford. So there's a museum over here. Private. Hmm. Where's the museum? Oh, look. 
lantern. Oh, okay. Well, that's why I forgot you collect lanterns on uh, on this particular uh, route. Okay. Zero? What is that? Is that a marker? Of some sort? Any more uh, collectibles here? Well, a lot of people sitting here waiting. Oh. Oh. Where's Somerset? Poster. Okay. Since I don't have to worry about a timetable. Ooh, sand. Mm. Wow. Wow, that is just like, it's not easy on the eyes. Blurry like that. Ooh, boy. Yeah. Wonder where that thing came from. Mm, railway museum and shop open. It is. And how do I get to it? Parcels and left luggage. Okay. Gentleman's laboratory. That's where the gentlemen go to the laboratory. Um. Excuse me? Why is there... Is that AstroTurf? Why is it... It's like, it's a... It's an absolute straight line. It goes from blacktop to grass. Okay. Okay. Break off. Remember, check and set you any point work required to navigate the yard. Point needlework. Couple to formation. Check the 2D map, make sure everything's okay. Should have changed the coupler. Let's see. Let me change it. Yes. Here we go. Change it from Buckeye to Hook. There we go. Okay, sit in the driver's seat of the locomotive. Brakes are off. Can't tell. I guess they're off. Then again, I don't think they're working anyway. So, I mean, they uh, they don't are 
Yeah, you don't see them working. Let's put it that way. Okay, so oh, put it in revoice, and we need to stop. Let's see. Basically, right at the junction, right on the junction. Okay. Yeah, if you give it too much throttle at one time, it doesn't like that. We have to reset it back to off. Give it a couple uh, Mississippi counts and apply just a little bit of throttle. And you get moving again. Like one mippy pippy, two mippy pippy, three mippy pippy, four mippy pippy, five mippy pippy, and we gotta come to a stop. Oh man. Oh, it accepted it. Okay. Couple to formation. So. Think. Let's go change those points. Uh, brakes on, throttle off, okay. okay we got to change this point here. I believe it's that one. And there's another one here, but... I think that's it, is it? Couldn't be. No. Let's try it. No, that goes over there. I don't think that's it. But there is another point here, but things don't look right. Look at the track. The track turns into a, um, like a thin sheet of paper. So something's not right here. But, uh, let's take a look at the 2D map. So we go to the map. See, yeah, I'm standing right on it. So, which one did I change? Okay. Is that one switch for both? Just out of curiosity. It's a weird junction. Never seen, never seen a point get changed like that. Okay. All right. So we should be all set now. Hmm. I guess I sw I switched that when I shouldn't have. Okay. Yep, okay. Correct coupler. Good. And this is why I do believe this is not a 45 minute... Uh, it's not a 45 minute job. Oh, I moved to the other side. Uh -huh. Okay, that's not where I want to be. 
Oh, that's weird. One usually brings me back to center. Uh, oh, release the brakes. Release the hounds. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. wrong way. Did you go forward? Forward. Let's go. Forward. Oh, look at. Even if I tried, I couldn't get 13. Okay, there we go. And I don't know, maybe I should sit on the other side. Okay, um... There we go. Okay, what is going on here? This is something new. The brakes are released. Okay. Reverse it forward. Brakes released. Okay, that was weird. That was weird. I don't know what was happening there. Let's see, can I see the other cars from here? Probably not. Ooh. Nice bump, okay. Very good. Good work. Pull these coaches back to Minehead to continue the demonstration. Okay. Coming. The brake's not releasing? No, not completely. There we go, come on. Looks like that may be the trouble there. Gotta get above, looks like 21. There we go. Okay, check our 2D map. Make sure everything is still looking good. Nothing changed. Okay. And what are those? Floaty things. Okay, look at that. I was checking which what the buttons do on a rail driver. If I want to sit over there, I have to get up and go over there. Ooh, change button doesn't work.
gotta be careful here because for a 1.5% downwards gradient, uh, we can go over the speed limit real quick. train brake takes a little bit longer to apply and a fair bit longer to release we don't need that right now we don't need the bouncy ball it's had to be real gentle with the train brake on this basically have to hit apply and release almost immediately like at the same time and then it doesn't make much sense but I mean there is there is a uh, an independent brake here straight air brake Uh, help that would be. Let me move this over here. Okay. Oh, I'll try it, see what happens. I mean, the coaches are vacuum braked, not air. And that button over there would normally change it from air to vacuum, but it uh, doesn't do anything. It's just there for show. Will that slow down? Yeah. Well, maybe I can use that. Hmm. Let me see, will it work? Does it, uh, does it apply on the uh, locomotive? A little shunter here? Something's working. But okay, let's give it some more speed. see the brake pads uh, uh, being applied or engage, engage or disengage. Yeah, yeah. Obviously something worked because that brought my speed down for quite a bit. Clearly something is working but back here.
Oh, clearly something is working on here for brakes. But they're actually... They're not articulating. But the straight air brake is actually uh, helping us slow down so I don't go over the speed limit. Okay. I'll take it. Don't know why or how it's working, but okay. Oh, speed limit reduction down to 10, then back up to 15 and 25. Or is it 10, 15, 10, 25? Didn't come down fast enough. Run over the speed limit just a wee bit. interior lights on in the daytime. I didn't even realize I turned them on. I like those crossing gates. Those are nice level crossing gates. I like them. They actually make a lot of sense. I want to check something out real quick. Now that I'm Already again hitting above the speed limit. Okay. I want to see something real quick. Rather than come back at another time. I don't believe you can go into these. There is no door here in the back. But there is a set of stairs here. Nope. All right, so you can't go in, you cannot enter these at all. These are just for strictly show. Nice place to put markers. Yeah. I know these are... What? Why is the car stopping there? Really? I'm not even near it. Okay. Um. Didn't expect that. I don't get it. I'm not... Is the hitbox that big? Well, that's weird. The gate's disappearing, but the shadow's still there. Yeah, okay. 
It looks like a Mustang. Yellow. Mellow yellow. Okay. Okay, these are just walls. Why they're here? Oh, okay. Kind of odd why they're here. Can't go on the other side. Okay. Oh, I went out that side. Okay. Okay. Let's get it going. I'm surprised nobody's on the beach. Looks like a nice day out. Coming up on mine head already, huh? Two, almost two and a half miles out and the barber pole started? Why? Well, we got a speed reduction down to 10 coming up. Actually worked. Look at that. Hmm.
up on five miles an hour. This natural one is not enough. That really works. I did not expect that to work. Oh, that's a stub track. Well, not that there was a whistleboard to indicate that I needed to blow the horn, but I just like to do it. Just a safety thing. down to 10.
of C that signals indicate. So I'm guessing that's a flashing white light. With the red, it's okay. for the brakes to recover. I come up to 21. Very slow. Things are loud. I'm not sticking my head out there again. Wow, are they loud? Big blue waypoint marker. It's just beyond that last green patch. Okay. That's all we need for now. Thanks for getting it done. Secure and disembark locomotive to finish. Disem disembark the lo the locomotive. Okay, so put the uh, throttle into to the off position. Uh, I put the new off. Off. Uh, I put the key in the off position. this time oh oh well uh, okay let's close the windows brake is fully applied yeah. no not not emergency full service there we go so I had it to full service okay Disembark the locomotive. Okay. And we come over here to the office steps. Okay, so that's pretty much the end of this uh, this run here. And um, uh, part one, uh, the two-part uh, shunting job. Thank you for all who stayed with me on this journey. Uh, it, was a, it was a slow Sunday ride type of journey. But this is um, this part of uh, West, uh, West Somerset Railway is not a, it's a leisure uh, track. It's not for, you know, and, you know, it's not for high speed or anything. It is for a, you know, a nice, small, uh, short drive. And, um, but I don't see how this is 45 minutes. 
it can be done in 45 minutes, but you will be over the speed limit uh, much of the time. Uh, and uh, you're going to have to work extremely fast. Um, this one is definitely not going to be 45 minutes because I stopped to look at uh, two things that one is more of a um, like a little mini museum uh, you can't even go into um, and the other one was just wondering why there's these weird protrusions in the sand turns out to be two walls I wanted to tell you, check that out but otherwise um it was a pretty straightforward, uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit confusing why the train didn't want to get moving after I coupled up to all the um, coach cars, but got everything going. Um, this stuff has, this does have its quirks, but for the most part, it's a nice, it's a nice little dr uh, job to do. It's um, relaxing and uh, not a lot of headache. Uh, for the most part. So with that all said and done, uh, I appreciate all who have uh, taken this whole journey. Thank you for being here. Let me know how I can improve. What can I do better? Uh, would love to hear your suggestions. Uh, good, bad, and different. Uh, leave me your thoughts. Uh, uh, subscribe and share. Just smash that thumbs up, likes button. And uh, don't forget to ring, ring that bell. And... Um, so you know when another video gets posted, I try to get them out as often as I can, uh, considering that uh, I share a computer with my daughter and she's the one who does all the editing. And um, I'm thankful for her because uh, she um, she's a smart young woman and she's learned to learn Da Vinci uh, Da Vinci resolve very quickly and is slowly learning more and more and she's able to get things done pretty fast but you know she's also got her own thing that she's got to do so uh you know i have to work within her her uh timetable but uh like i said i try to we try to get things out and try to do a good product you know i want i want to provide a quality viewing experience and uh, if you feel that that's what you received here you know let me know Okay, I'm not going to keep yapping here. With all that said and done, uh, take care. You have a wonderful day, and hope to have you back again. Y'all come back now, you hear? Bye-bye for now.